Hi guys, welcome back to Molly Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. So if you do like styling content, I do a lot of styling here on this channel, primarily through thrifted finds. So if you do like styling, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family because we have a lot of fun here. <laughs> I had a lot of inquiries about my <laughs> my jewelry box and I'm happy to say I did get it open so like I told you I know that it's sold on Amazon because I literally had one of those boxes sitting in my cart so I wasn't too worried about it on Sunday when I was finally able to go and you know troubleshoot I went on Amazon just because you know I can get more description on the jewelry box but I decided to go straight to the reviews first to see if anyone else had any issues with um with this box closing and not opening I went to the comments review section first there was just like people showing what their jewelry looked like their watches in the box and then this awesome person <laughs> actually posted a photo of him getting into the box so i realized okay it uses a key but what was most important when i looked at those two little dots on his box it was vertical when i looked on mine it was horizontal so i'm like aha this also needs to be vertical in order for it to open so i just used a very large um sewing needle thing and just maneuvered it sideways because i saw that the key was a very generic key which means the mechanics are very you know simple so i just used the pin turned my lock from vertical to horizontal and voila here it is it does now open because like i said when i was there it did open and close so it's in the vertical position right here so as long as i keep it in the vertical position i won't have to worry with it closing and not reopening and if it does i know how to open it so now for why we're actually here this is part two of my upstate new york thrift haul so last week i went to new city and just about 11 12 minutes outside of that was a goodwill in nanuet new york so this thrift haul is from nanuet um new york it makes me so happy it's a very simple haul <laughs> but i'm so thrilled with the pieces that i got and i'm just gonna go into the thrift with me portion and then we'll come back here and show you what i got So for this haul, I spent a total of 45 43 I only got one thing um, on sale. It was a top for $10 and I got it for $5.99. But I'll start out with um, the one pair of shoes that I got. 
I didn't show you these in the try on because as I was leaving, I'm like, okay, let me go see what else is in the store. And this was actually in the men's section, which is why I didn't see it. <laughs> so it's just this white pair of lovers with a little chunky sole and just these little tassels on top, which is perfect. It is by Vagabond. So I know Vagabond shoes, I think upwards of 180 to two something. So this was $10. It was perfect. It does have a few little scuffs on it, but I think, you know, I'll be able to get it out. But also it's white shoes. I'm going to wear it once and I'm going to make my own scuffs. So <laughs> this is a first piece that I got. I think it's going to be perfect for spring. So yeah, Vagabond. And it's always a sign too when it's the only pair and you're drawn to it and it's your exact size. I had to take it, right? Now for the rest of the haul and spoiler alert, they were all tops. But I found some awesome vintage tops and I couldn't believe I saw so many in one spot. So I kind of had to go through and be like, mm, is this really me? Am I buying it just because it's vintage? Or is it something that I'd actually wear? So there's this nice 70s, um, button down, but the colors are like really, you know, saturated, very primary color-y type colors. And I don't think I'd really wear it. So I decided to leave that one. Um, so that's one of them where I'm like, you know, it was a seventies. I should have maybe, maybe not, but I know it's too, it's too like bold in color. Maybe if they were a little more muted, I definitely go for it, but I decided to pass on that one. Anyhow, less jibber jabbering. I'll start out with the only knit I got and it is this sweater. I have no tag on it. It's probably a batik sweater, but I just really loved this color. And so I decided to grab it. I still don't know what this little, <laughs> you saw me trying to figure out what this is in the come through with me. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, if I'm gonna just, cut it off or, you know, put it back over here. But this is the first little top, nice little cable knit type, deep neck um, top. But yeah, the color is awesome. The next top I got was this green top. And I know it's, you know, it's a little out there, but I loved that it was like a two tone, but what it really is, is it's sheer. So it's really just this lightweight, sheer type of um, material. I do have like two green jackets, blazers, and they're doing a lot of monochromatic and like, you know, bright colors like blue and green and yellow and pink. They're doing like a lot of full suits this year. We're really trying to get into the color. And so I thought this would probably go with one of the blazers that I do have. So I decided to grab it. This is by Prego. You can see that. So just a nice, you know, little vintage <laughs> sheer. Sheer is also really big for um, 2022. So I thought, you know, on the whim, I'd go for it. I do like this little sagey green color as well. It's also very on trend. So picking out all the, you know, modern trending aspects of this stuff, it has so many going for it. It's a bit bigger, I can tell. Um, it does have shoulder pads, but I think I can make it work. You know, we, we'll see. <laughs> the next stuff I got is this awesome 70s number. I love that really pointed color. And if you can see, it has like this little, you know, zigzaggy type stripe. This also is a bit sheer. So it's going to be very nice going from the spring into the summer with this. It's going to be very lightweight. This is by the brand Amiga Classics. And that's what this little brand looks like. But yeah, this is just going to be such a nice wearable piece. I love the little pocket on the side as well. So just so wearable, subtle little, you know, unique features of it is just, I just couldn't leave this behind. This is like gold. <laughs> this stuff is another more modern piece and this is by Nanette Lepore. I know Nanette Lepore um, quite well. And it's this very romantic little wrap top. 
and I love the sleeves on it. I love like the girliness of it coming into spring summer. I really love just throwing these on with a pair of jeans and it dresses itself up without me having to make too much of an effort. So I decided to grab this Nanette Lepore top as well. We're getting into the more dramatic pieces and I think at this point I'm picking up one red item per <laughs> Thrift trip, I think I, you know, it's like working me out of my um, no red zone. I love the neckline. It's like a, it also has like this tone and tone pattern on it. These look like um, bamboo leaves that's on the design. So it's intricate, but you know, subtle at the same time. Again, I love the sleeves. I love the little um, cuffs on the sleeves. You'll be able to see it better when I try it on. And in the back, it just have these little buttons going up the back of it. So such, such a cute little blouse. The red is just perfect in this style, I think. <laughs> so the final top is this. I have been really loving like tiger print, zebra print type shirts and I had to grab this one. Of course, it has this cute little pussy bow um, string right here. It does have a small amount of shoulder pads, which is perfect. I have pretty square shoulders, so it's fine. And I love the, you know, they all of them have this like very feminine um, little cuff at the bottom. So this again, you know, it's very sheer, very lightweight. So spring, summer, this will be perfect if I have anything a little more dressed up in the summer. You know, this is a very lightweight, again, top, but the drama of it, it is, it is just awesome. <laughs> so this is a final item and I'll sell these up for you. Of course, a lot of these are more for like casual wear. So this will be a very denim heavy, try on sesh but i i can't believe this haul like the, the the quality of the styles in these tops i'm just like oh my god <laughs> uh, so let's go into the try on portion so first up i have just switched out my brown belt for this black one and paired it with the loafers so you can see what these look like and it fits in perfectly. So <laughs> very wearable, very comfortable, and still quite statement at the same time. So I just paired it with this little um, metal vintage bag. And yeah, I just think this was a great addition to my shoe collection. <laughs> Next up is the knit top. And this is how I think that it was supposed to be. And the, you know, the thread probably got pulled off. So I could just do this little peephole as it naturally wants to do, or I could just take it up and do it diagonally and give it a different type of feel. So let me know, should I go diagonal with it? Or do I just leave it going straight across for the peephole? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section which one I should do because, you know, it's really cute this way. But I think just for a little more dynamics, it would really look good diagonally as well. Is it too much? Let me know because the cut, they, there's a little like poofing in the sleeves as well. So I think just to keep in that drama period, you know, doing it a little diagonally will be keeping it in the same vein. But I'll just leave it vertically for now and show you what it looks like. But anyhow, I've put on this wide leg split hem jeans and my silver satin caparos um, little kitten heels and this awesome vintage bag. I've had this for a while, you know, keeping it nice and preserved. I pulled this out because this has some nice little blue tones in it. So I think that, you know, it makes such a statement in an all blue outfit. So this is how I would style this top. I just love the color of this sweater. So even though I don't know where it's from, I just decided to grab it. So this is what the top looks like. So this is a Nanette Lepore top. I love how feminine it is. It is a actual proper wrap 
top so it does have a little tie here and a little button just to hold this right here i love the shoulders on it i love the little um slight balloon sleeve that's going on in the wrist action i could have gone very um, classic with it but I decided to rough it up a little bit throw back on my cut knee jeans and I'd absolutely wear pink slippers and an orange bag so <laughs> the color tones in the top lends itself to a more playful um, set of accessories and so this is how I just put this on easy but so you know feminine I'm missing the femininity in my sweaters and chunky boots for <laughs> for winter so I can't wait to get back into some more ladylike style very feminine outfits and this is you know giving me that um, juxtaposition of ladylike but casual every day and so this is one way I'd style this top and I love this so here is the vintage green top just a nice sheer little top especially for like summer days where if you're out during the daytime the sun on your shoulder will burn like crazy so i do like little sheer tops that i can still layer in the summer it also looks really good tucked in and these are just my top shop skinny jeans that i've created with and just these tan ankle strap kitten heels very wearable, very relaxed, and very casual for daytime. So I love this. But for spring, this is a blazer I had in mind when I saw this top. And just this like muted um, mint pistachio type green, I think would work really well with this top. They're not the same color. There's a slight contrast in the color which, make, which makes it even more interesting. I've kept the color of the belt muted just to, you know, give it a very um, light feel with this, you know, taupey sandals to go with the taupey belt. So I just kept it very light um, on top, but still, you know, very springtime ready, giving me some warmth in the blazer. I could have put a darker, um, belt as well this is what it would look like if i use a dark belt so it would just give it a little more um focus on the waistline but just cinching it already gives it a lot of definition in the waist for me so i think i'd keep it nice and light for these colors so this is how i style this top already so many <laughs> ideas for this which makes it such a perfect item because it's just like oh do this do this do this so that's a great sign that this will get a lot of wear so here is the 70s like um decorated pinstripe shirt and this is how i've styled it i've paired it with a pair of white pants nice little brown belt my nine west western shoes that i'm obsessed with i can't wait until it gets to spring so i can bust these out more than likely i would put the sleeves up and just make it very you know very casual very relaxed i couldn't decide for bags so first if i only want to take if i just want to take the essentials i just take my louboutin um i forgot what it's called kachiri karuchi I always forget the name of this bag, but it's very saddlebag s and because I've gone a little western in the boots, these would just be such a cute little pairing for this. But if, if I'm going for something a little bigger, I wasn't, you know, I was toying between two other bags. This vintage Bottega Veneta um, intricato bag where, you know, the color tones of it works really well with this look as well with the tones in the shirt. So I thought, you know, if I want to carry something a little more, then I can also just go with a nice little shoulder bag. Then again, because we're moving back into big bag season, <laughs> I also have this Prada um, bucket tote bag that also works really well with this look. So this is how I'd style my shirt. It works very well in seamlessly into my um, closet. So that's perfect. And, you know, it's not screaming vintage, and that's what I love. I love incorporating vintage pieces into a modern wardrobe. It just makes it a lot more, you know, rich, more distinct without screaming, hello, I'm vintage. So I just love those little unique pieces, just a sprinkle in here and there. 
and uh, yeah i just love <laughs> Uh, I just love this shirt. So here is the red top. <laughs> I love it. I thought I'd keep it sweet and just pair it with this black maxi skirt. It has really nice movement and, you know, keeping that romantic feel off the top. I've paired it with this little metallic red bag, even though it's not an exact red i think the contrast really lends to it so this is you know making this a lot more um dressed up so <laughs> it's a two-piece but if i want to feel a little more elegant for like a dinner out this is definitely something i'd wear so we're still doing pink and red as a combination for 2022 so i thought i'd pair this with a nice little pink culottes these are by Zara. I've had them for a while and my pink little um, Bottega dupes, since we've been doing a lot of jeans, I thought I'd elevate this a little more just to give it some more variety. But of course, I'd also wear this with jeans on a more dressed up casual day as well. So yeah, this is my red top and I love it. <laughs> Now for the final item, it's this awesome like zebra print top. And first of all, I thought this was a regular like pussy bow type tie, but this side is actually longer than this side. So that makes me to believe that it's supposed to tie to the side. So let me see. I'll have to work on my bow tying skills, but <laughs> this is how I've just done a loose little bow to the side and this is what the what it looks like i've chosen this belt because it has like a um rustic gold as opposed to a bright color with a silver gold i wanted something very muted so i decided i'd just throw on these leather look leggings and or pants <laughs> with this this is a ferragamo the clutch because it's black and white you know you could almost do any color bag but i decided to just keep it black and white for this and one of the things that i you know saw this with that i don't have it would look really good with a pair of stirrup pants it would also look really good with a split front pants so those two items are on my radar and i think they look perfect with this top so this is how i've styled this and you know maybe i could tuck this in here maybe yeah yeah just to give it a clean waistline yeah so <laughs> love this love this so yeah this is a final item and this haul was so fun i know it's only tops well tops and one pair of shoes but so so fun these tops and i can't believe it <laughs> so guys i said thank you so much for watching don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite what piece is your favorite as well don't forget to subscribe i'd love for you to join the family and if you did like this video please give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next one